In Southeast Texas, I'm Jim Walker. And I'm Sheldon Brigham. The fate of South Park Middle School will have to wait until Monday. A judge has extended the restraining order for the school. Fox Sports' Brandon Jones was in the courtroom as testimony wrapped up. That's this afternoon's top story. Brandon? Well, Jim, today was the Beaumont ISD's turn to present its case about why South Park should be demolished and a new campus built in its place. The district's first witness was Assistant Superintendent Terry Ingram. Now, Ingram says the board considered seven recommendations, including South Park's demolition. The board felt renovating the school would cost the district more money. Ingram testified that the district would have had to expand the time students were in portables. Ingram told the judge that South Park cannot be renovated and meet the needs of students. Another familiar face also took the stand today. Beaumont City Councilwoman Nancy Beaulieu says she was contacted by the school district's former communications director, Jolene Ortego. Councilwoman Beaulieu says Ortego told her that South Park would not be demolished. Beaulieu says she then had that information placed in the Examiner newspaper, but the district official says Ortego didn't get her information from the board. That was in direct, direct contradiction to what the editor of the Examiner testified to, who published the, the, the um, pamphlet. He never mentioned Mrs. Bowie's name. Um, surely, if her recollection is correct, then it's totally one of them, you know, is mistaken. The district was supposed to start demolition by the end of this month, but with it being July 31st, its obvious plans have been delayed. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Brandon. And there is still controversy surrounding the bond that started all of this. Here's what's included in the $389 million bond. The bond calls for nine new elementary schools, one new middle school, and a district-wide multi-purpose center, including an athletic complex and an auditorium. The package also includes numerous renovations and additions. Still, some voters say the bond wasn't specific enough about which school would be demolished or refurbished. A former Bridge City High